So good morning, welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we're going to perform the second activity under the magnetic conductor circuits. Okay, so let's click this one and then let's go to the second activity. So the second activity is about the normally open contact. In last video, we discussed how to energize or to let the current flow to our coil of our magnetic contactor. Now today we're going to include in our circuit a normally open contact okay so let's click play okay and then the normal mode okay so let's discuss first the uh, circuit how this uh, circuit works theoretically and then we will wire this one and then after we wire the circuit successfully we are going to try to simulate this one to check the functionality of our circuit okay so as what i mentioned a while ago this uh, this is the magnetic contactor which is a very important uh, electrical component especially when we will be using when we will be doing a motor control circuit later on okay so we have this one here so this one here is the supply which is the circuit breaker this one here is the circuit breaker and then we have here the fuse the fuse one and fuse two so as of this moment we will only be using the fuse one and fuse two so this one here is the fuse one the line of the fuse one okay this one here is for the fuse two and then this one here is for the fuse three okay and then we have here the normally open push button. So this one here, the normally open push button, this one here, which is connected in series with the coil of this KM1. So this one here is the KM1. Okay, so the coil is A1 and A2 as what we did in the previous lecture. Okay, and then we also have here the normally open uh, push button, uh, normally open contact for our uh, KM1. Okay, and then we have here the PL3 which in this particular case, the norm, the PL3, which is color green. Okay, so first is we have to discuss first the labeling, which is very important when read, reading this electrical diagram. So take note that we have here this KM1 and then KM1 here. So why is it that they have different uh, symbols, but they have the same name? So it means that uh, this one here, the K1 here is the coil, which is this one here, the A1 and A2 in the coil. And then this one here, the 13 and 14 KM1, is the normally open contact of our uh, push button, so it, uh, of our magnetic conductor. It means that if they have the same label, KM1 and KM1, it refers to a certain, to a single magnetic conductor. So in this particular case here, KM1. So the A1 and A2 for our KM1, so this one here is our KM1. So this one here is the A1 and A2 for the KM1. And then we have here the 13 and 14 of the KM1. So which is the uh, normally open here. So take note, we discussed in the previous lecture that the 13 normally open is what we can see here. Let's try to zoom it again. Okay. We have here the 13 and O. So it means the normally open. So this portion here. Okay. And then we have here the 14 and O, which is this one here. Okay, so now let's discuss theoretically what will happen or what uh, what is the functionality of our electrical diagram. Okay, so it means in the previous lecture we discussed that if this uh, energy, if this uh, coil here uh, is energized, or it means that if there is a current flowing through this KM1, okay, all the normally open contact will be closed, and all the normally closed contact will be open so in this particular case here we have a normally open contact so it means that when we start our circuit breaker okay and then the current now is available to this uh, particular circuit as of this moment since the current will not be able to flow through this uh, coil here the coil of the km1 because this is a normally open switch here the current will not be able to flow okay hence this km1 normally open will remain normally will remain open okay so hence hence this pl3 will be uh, remain uh, will be turned off okay however if you press this pb2 if you press this pb2 the current now will now be able to flow through this uh, km1 here hence making this km1 and in, in in energized state energized hence if this is energized you are going to hear the sound tick tock ah uh, and then after you hear that sound, it means that this uh, 13 and 14 here, which is the normally open, will now close. So if this uh, if this normally open contact will now close, hence the current now will now be able to flow through this uh, line here. It means that 
uh, this PL3 will now be turned on. Okay, however, if you release this PB2, the current will now be will not will now not be able to flow to this KM1, hence it will return to its de-energized state. Okay, since you release your hands here, so the current will not be able to flow, hence this KM1 will return also to its original state, which is normally open. Hence, the current will, now be, will not be able to flow to PL3, hence turn uh, off. Okay, so to summarize, click this one, click the uh, uh, normal state, the initial state is the current will not be able to flow to KM1, hence PL3 is turned off. However, you press this one, the KM1 will be energized, this one will close, and this one will turn on. However, if you release this one, the KM1 will be de-energized again. This one will return to its original state, which is open, and then this PL3 will be turned off. Okay, so let's try to wire this one first, and then let's simulate uh, the circuit functionality later on. So, we start with the uh, S, and then connect this one to the breaker, output of the breaker to the fuse 2. Okay, so this one here, the input, so the breaker, Input fuse 2. So this is very similar to what we did in the previous lecture. Okay, and then after that one, the fuse 2 input to the input of the push button. Okay, and then to the KM1 and then go back again here. So this is very similar to what we did in the last lecture. Okay, so just follow that one. So that wire is here. Okay, and then input. Yeah, and then uh, the this one. And then the output of our push button to the A1 of the magnetic conductor. Okay, so later on, guys, uh, we will see uh, two magnetic conductors, especially when we will be using uh, the forward reverse. Watch it. That is why it is very important to take note the label of the magnetic conductor in the circuit. Okay, so this one, the A2, the output of the A2 to the output of the fuse 1. Okay undo okay and then let's go back here and then fuse one okay and then after the fuse one okay let's go back here to the r side to the line one of our circuit breaker okay so that is line one of our circuit breaker okay so we are now done with this wiring of this first uh, line here. So now we are going to connect this 13. So we have two options here. We can connect this one to the uh, the 13 of our KM1 to the input side of our PB uh, PB2, or we can also directly connect it to the output of the fuse 2. Okay. So let's take a look. Where should we connect this one? So we can connect this one to the input or to this one here. So I think it would be. Uh, easier if we connect this one to the input of the uh, PB2, okay, so which is the number 13. So the number 13 to the input of the PB2. So let's take, let's zoom in, okay. So the 13 is this portion here in the above, so it means this one, okay. So the 13, and then let's connect this one to the input, okay, let's try to connect it here here to the input and then the output of the 14 to the uh, input of our uh, PL3 so 14 so this one here this one here is the 14 so let's connect this one to the input of the X3 okay so it seems and so PL3 this one here PL3 and then the output of our PL3, so we have two options here. We can connect this one to this one here, the A2 of our magnetic contactor, or we can directly connect it to the output of the fuse or the input output of the fuse here, to fuse one. Okay, so I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the A2 of our uh, KM1. Okay, so this one here, and then let's connect this one to the A2 of our, oops. Okay, to the A2 of our magnetic contactor. Okay, so let's try to zoom it out and then to see the whole picture of our circuit. Okay, so if we press the submit button, it will check if we have got the correct wiring. 
so pass it means we get the eight wires correct uh, connected successfully now let's try to on this one so as of the moment we can already assume that this uh, circuit breaker is already turned on okay so on and then uh, since the current will not be able to flow to KM1, hence we can observe that this PL3 is still turned off. However, if we press this one, we can expect that this magnetic contactor here will be energized, tuck, and then this one here will close, and then this one will turn on. Let's try to click this one. Okay, so turn on. However, if I release this one, it will go back to its original state, which is uh, de-energize for the coil of the contactor and then the 13 and 14 will return to normally open hence the PL3 will be turned off okay let's try to release off okay press again on release again off okay so see you in the next lecture